A former Rear Admiral of the Indian Navy has said, that Indian Navy's choice of French Rafale Marine over American F-A-18 is primarily attributed to the Rafale Marine's smaller footprint on aircraft carriers, efficient hangar space utilization, and its compatibility with the lifts on the carriers. The reduced footprint will allow the Indian Navy to deploy a greater number of aircraft on the carrier, and it will also utilize the hangar effectively contributing to the Navy's operational efficiency. The 25-ton maximum takeoff weight of Rafale Marine will also allow for greater flexibility in carrier operations. India has embarked on the development of an airborne directed energy system that will harness the potential of chemical oxygen iodine laser technology. It utilizes a chemical reaction to generate a high-energy beam of light that has the capacity to destroy ballistic missiles from considerable distances during their critical boost phase. A commercial aircraft will be modified to mount a high-energy laser weapon in the nose turret, for effective missile tracking and interception. The DRDO has extended the runway at the Chitradurga Aeronautical Test Range by 1 km, bringing the total length to approximately 3.13 km. This expansion will facilitate the testing of upcoming high-altitude long-endurance class UAV which the DRDO is developing for the Indian Armed Forces. The facility's enhanced infrastructure will also be utilized for testing jet-powered unmanned combat aerial vehicle in the future. Throttle Aerospace Systems has delivered its Nimble I micro unmanned aerial vehicle to the Indian Army, which is a multi rotor electric powered UAV designed for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance operations. The micro UAV is constructed using lightweight composites, and it has a payload capacity of half a kilogram and an endurance of 30 minutes, and offers real time video transmission for real time decision making and intelligence gathering. The CEO of Safran Helicopter Engines has confirmed that Safran and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will jointly develop a 3000 shaft horsepower engine to power the 13 ton Indian multi role helicopter, for which a new state of the art factory will be established on the outskirts of Bengaluru, where Hindustan Aeronautics already has a dedicated helicopter facility. This strategic location will foster seamless collaboration between the teams and facilitate faster integration of the new engine into the helicopter. The Indian Space Research Organization has successfully placed seven Singapore satellites into their desired 535 km circular orbit earlier today. One of the satellites carries a synthetic aperture radar payload developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, that will provide all-weather day and night coverage, and support the imagery requirements of various agencies of the Government of Singapore. The 10th meeting of Subcommittee on Military Cooperation between India and Malaysia was held in New Delhi, during which both sides explored practical initiatives to further expand the bilateral defence engagements and the Indian side highlighted the potential of the Indian defence industry to cooperate with the Malaysian Armed Forces in its shipbuilding and maintenance plans. Soldiers of Indian Army and Mongolian Armed Forces have started exercise Nomadic Elephant 2023 in Mongolia, and the primary theme of this year's joint exercise will focus on counter-terror operations in mountainous terrain. The Indian and Mongolian troops will also engage in various training activities designed to enhance their skills and capabilities. <laughs>